800-242-4261. Try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible. Time to hit the phones. Let's, uh, let's take our first phone call of the day and talk to Sam in New Jersey. What's up, Sam? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. How you doing, Ben? Doing uh, good. I just want to report on uh, something I saw in the news earlier this week. It was all over uh, mainstream media that um, in Georgetown University they found that phospholipids uh, or a lack of phospholipids in the blood is a very good predictor of Alzheimer's disease, 90% oh. uh, effective predictor. Interesting. So, um, Tell the yeah. list, just for the listeners, Sam, uh, lecithin is a source of phospholipids. Exactly. Phospholipids yeah. is just a fancy way of saying phosphorus with fats, and in fact, that is why lecithin has its, its fat-dissolving properties. And phospholipids are, as we, we talked about that a couple months ago, how important they are for electrical energy. And yes, indeed, lecithin and phospholipids are very important for brain and nerve health. Thanks for sharing that. And where, where did you get that information from? It was it was all it was on a lot of uh, uh, magazines and uh, news articles in the, in the mainstream media. Uh, but it's interesting how with the main um, author or uh, the principal investigator what his conclusion was. Yeah. He said, well, now now that we can predict Alzheimer's uh, so well, uh, we should give uh, patients that are low on uh, phospholipids. We should give them uh, Alzheimer's drugs early. I, I, you know, I did see. Now that you mention it, I saw the headline, and I didn't read the article where they talked about predicting Alzheimer's disease by doing blood tests. They were talking about phospholipids. Exactly. Uh, you know, I should. When I saw that, I just I kind of tuned it out because of uh, it just struck me as being just more medical nonsense, diagnosing things. But I probably should have read that. So they were talking about phospholipids in there as being predictive for Alzheimer's disease. That's very interesting. Yeah, less of thin and basically, phospho- basically what you've been saying. You know, it's, uh, you know nothing new for us. Nothing new if you've been listening to the program. That's right. right. You know, that's interesting that you bring that up because what I've noticed, and, and thanks so much for your call, Sam. I appreciate it. Where in New Jersey are you, Sam? I, you and I have talked in the past, haven't we? I think we have. Yeah. When are you going to come out here? To Jersey. I will be out there for Mother's Day and, and for my dad's birthday in May. I'll, I'll give me, send me, shoot me an email with your phone number, and I'll yeah. get in touch with you. Okay, yeah, maybe Sam. we could set up a talk or something. Uh, oh, yeah. I'd love to do that. Are you doing a health center or something? I would love yeah. that, Sam. Are you doing Longevity at all? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not part of that. Okay, so even if you're not, I'll, do a, I'll be glad to do a talk. Shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll get a hold of you. Okay, buddy? Well, maybe, maybe I can get involved and, you know, set something up that way. We'll have a conversation about that. Thanks so much, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go here, bro. Have a beautiful day. All right, uh, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, less of the, oh, I, was, I was actually saying, but uh, what I noticed is when, when you hear about things in the world of, in the mainstream world, usually biochemists and nutritionists and people who study these things have known about them for decades. And in the case of lecithin and phospholipids, it's, in the, it's been in the literature uh, how important phospholipids are and lecithin is for the nervous system and for the brain for many, many years. So it's kind of interesting that the mainstream model, mainstream folks are just getting wind of this. Thanks for pointing that out, Sam. I, I should have read that article, and I didn't. Okay, let's see. Anita in Connecticut. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hello. Hello, Anita. What's cooking? Hi, Ben. I want to thank you for sharing all of your wonderful knowledge with thank us. You. It's really appreciated. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for thank you for thanking me. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm going to be 83 next month. Congratulations. And I was doing pretty good, Ben, and yeah. so I burned my finger on the stove about five months ago at the on my pinky finger at uh-huh. the top of the fingernail, and it didn't look really that bad. And the doctor said it was healing fine, and all of a sudden, we realized it was not healing well, and we tried a lot of different natural kind of things, and nothing was doing, and you... they were worried. So they decided they had to put me on Sceptra. I can't swallow pills. Everything I take, I have to open up. So they gave me a liquid Sceptra. Liquid Sceptra. That's yes, a, for the listeners, to... that's an antibiotic Sceptra, right. also known as Bactrim. Well, right. if you have infection... Uh, first of all, antibiotics have some anti-inflammatory properties, and that can help heal things. And if, but if you have an infection, that's really where you need an antibiotic. You know, I, I, I'm, I know I rip on drugs all the time, and I really don't like prescription drugs. But antibiotics and pain pills, those are the two classes of drugs that really we need to be, we need to be very grateful for, especially pain pills and antibiotics, too, uh, when they're used carefully. So you may need to – I can't tell you on the phone whether you need the antibiotic no, or not. that's not my real problem now. Oh. 
Well, well let me give Trump you a quick. Let me give you a quick that. idea. Let me just say a couple quick things, Anita, and then I'll let you continue. Okay. All right. Number one, the fingers, the pinky especially, but the fingers and the extremities, the toes and the fingers, those tend to heal the slowest when we're when we have nutritional deficiencies because the body will shift all the nutrients to the core of the body and away from the extremities. So it's not unusual for the fingers or the toes to have a, uh, problems, especially with healing, if you're under if you have some kind of nutritional deficiency. So that's what I'd be thinking of, uh, especially around fats. And then secondly, you might want to try a little topical zinc oxide or topical uh, uh, fatty vitamin C, lipophilic fatty vitamin C. If you shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com, I'll send you back a link uh, where you can get some fatty vitamin C. Uh, and that's for anybody listening out there, for burns, for cuts, for scrapes, for things that don't heal, fatty vitamin C and zinc oxide are your two most important topical treatments. Go ahead. I didn't mean to okay, interrupt you. Okay, that's email. okay. I just want to get all this in. Okay. Uh, after about five days, I started getting the diarrhea. I called my doctor. And he said, is the finger any better? And I said, no. He said, go off of it. Okay. Eventually, now I'm losing the nail. It's almost off. And oh. the finger is looking much better. But what happened, and I had no idea if there's any connection, about four or five days after I stopped the uh, SEPTRA, my lips started bothering me on the bottom on one side. It was very irritated. Pimples? You Pimples? couldn't see anything. And I thought, oh, maybe it's too much apple cider vinegar and then about 10 days later which is now a month my whole mouth started burning like i've been laying out in the sun on the beach and the whole bottom started exfoliating okay and i right. think i have exfoliative chiliitis you might have chiliitis that's exactly yeah, what i was going to tell you I don't, i've done so much research and i can't find any hope Food. of getting rid of it it's bad here's the deal the mouth around the mouth is a very good indicator of problems in the digestive system right everything you're telling me it tells me that you're not absorbing nutrients right and and you may have a problem with the digestive system as well so hang tight we'll i'll answer your question here okay, when we come back from our break and hang on if you're on hold. We'll try to get to all our callers here when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. And we'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before markets, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your Healthy Start Pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com at sonsoflibertyteam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. 
At only $29.95, fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, uh, Anita in Connecticut. A little lip problem, colitis. I think you might have a problem with this nutrient absorption, Anita, and mm-hmm. it may very well have to do with uh, the antibiotic, the round of antibiotics that you took could have thrown off the bacteria. Are you using a probiotic supplement? Oh, I'm all, yes, Ben. I had what they told me was terminal cancer, oh, and okay. I have had chemotherapy for 11 months. Oh, but you're doing and okay, I don't it sounds know what like. what it did to my intestines, but that was 33 years ago. Yeah, you sound, no, you should have recovered at this point. I so, think so. Yeah, so, but are you using a probiotic supplement? Oh, all the time. What are you using? Uh, I have one that's uh, Nature's Way, 100,000. No, it would be in billions. It would be in billion 100, units. Uh, yeah, 100, 100. Billion uh, units? 100,000, 100 billion. 100 billion I units. I can't swallow pills, so I have to chew everything or open Ooh. it up. Get some fermented foods then. Start using. I have it in my refrigerator. You're using miso and tempeh and sauerkraut and all that stuff. Uh, I, you can use pickles, right, Bobby? Oh, absolutely. Anything yeah, fermented. That's anything. What I have. Mix it up. Mix yeah. it up. Get a few other types of fermented food as well. Okay. So you, and you're using the apple cider vinegar. That's great. Yes. The, the B complex is especially important for all fast-moving tissue, including the skin. So in addition, I hope you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's that one of the most. And the colloidal minerals. Both. Minerals are good too. Yeah. Uh, but stay on the BT, stay on the BTT, but go get yourself something called a B100. Where in Connecticut are you, by the way? Uh, Stanford. Okay. So go to, uh, go to a health food store, Whole Foods out there in Stanford, and get yourself a B100 and take it every couple of hours, a B100 capsule or tablet. I like the capsule a little bit better. And I then can take open them. it up? Absolutely, you can open okay. it up. It doesn't taste very good, but, yeah, you can open it up. Okay. And then you want to start doing uh, high doses of vitamin C. I, I take prob- that all the time. A couple thousand grams a day? Yeah, oh, over. Over, so that's good. Four, uh, four or five thousand grams a day. Yes. Okay, good. Stay on that, and then make sure that you're getting your essential fatty acids. Mix it up with lecithin because there's a chance that you're not yep. going to be absorbed. Oh, you're doing that already. Lecithin, I take. You're, and you're doing that already. Yes. Are you how? How's your the digestive thing? Are bowel movements and gas and bloating and all that kind uh, of stuff? That is fine, except I have a silent, uh, um, a silent reflux. Okay, then that's telling me something's still not getting processed correctly. And, and when I lay down, when I go to sleep, I wake Harper. up and I'm a little nauseous. Then I wake up and eat yeah. and I'm fine. you got something going on there. So your body's not processing nutrients. So you're going to have to nail that down because, as we said so many times in this program, it's not what you take, it's what you absorb. Right. And it sounds to me like you're not processing your nutrients. Try to liquefy everything as much as possible and yeah. use the smoothies and soups and that kind of thing yeah. and then correct the digestive problem. Treat the colitis as secondary to some kind of malabsorption of nutrients and or a digestive issue, maybe leaky gut syndrome or something along those lines. How about glutamine powder? Uh, every day. How about, Z, um, how about the Z-radical from Longevity? Uh, I take uh, uh, Yeah, I take that. 
You're on the Z Radical, a couple I'm capitals on, a day? I'm on Life Extensions, not... not. I don't know. I can't speak to that. Life okay. Extensions is a great company, but I can't mm-hmm. speak to the specific products. So I'm just going to tell you what I know about, okay. and that's the Z Radical All and right. Aloe Juice and Noni Juice. I that, take aloe every day. Very nice. You might also want to make yourself a nice uh, a tea out of something called Colt's Foot, C-O-L-T-S-F-O-O-T, Colt's Foot, which okay. has a nice... And also something called Slippery Elm, both okay. of which have a nice soothing quality for the digestive tract. You want to focus on digestion and nutrient absorption, because I think that's where your problem is. And Anita, I got some calls here I want to get to, okay. so I got to move on. Thanks, Thanks so, so much for calling your kind words. I appreciate everything. Take care and good luck with that. All right, uh, let's see if we can get to uh, finish up some calls here. Caroline in North Carolina.